Put a smile on your face When you're moving from place to place, place. Good morning, good morning, morning Good morning, morning Welcome back to The Morning Show, viewers. I am Adana Kambi, and we continue conversations with our guests in studio. This, at this point in time, we're speaking with Mr. Curtis Williams, and he is the president of Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce, the Tobago chapter. And of course, there was a recent meeting held by the chamber um, with the chamber and the trade minister, uh, Paula Gopi Schoon. And of course, the conversations coming out of that very interesting conversations that we're going to have with Mr. Williams this morning. So good morning, sir, and welcome to our program. Um, welcome to the viewers and listeners and, and to make updates. And happy to be here. This right. And we're happy to be having this conversation. It's always very important for um, these bodies to be meeting, to have conversations that impact the lives and livelihoods of people in any nation. And, and so we're happy that we had this meeting and I'm interested to know what the conversation was like in this um, meeting and what the outcomes are and what we can look forward to moving forward. Um, definitely, Adana. Um, the meeting was um, a bit cordial and um, I'm really exciting for most of the, um, the folks who were there. Um, the Chief Sec expressed his, his gratitude to, um, for the Chamber to be you know, taking this initiative to bring the parties together which is the business community and the, um, the teacher and the minister. It was history in making. And um, I just want to say thanks to the team, thanks to the minister for taking our invitation, and also thanks to the chief sec and bringing his team, he brought his entire um, technical team. So that was really exciting for us. So let me just say congratulations there for that initiative, for making that move to have that meet, that type of meeting, that is absolutely necessary. Yeah, definitely. And I want to thank my team too, um, led by... Mr. Demi John, my vice president, and the entire team that came together to bring this whole package together. But the outcome was so excited. Um, we had um, the Exim Bank there, we had Export TT, and um, some other representatives from the ministry, the Permanent Sec, and um, also we had the um, Permanent Sec from the Tobago um, CAS. Mm -hmm. So we had all these administrators as well from the THA. So we had all these technical folks there, and uh, we were able to um, relate. And, and deal with issues surrounding Tobago and trade. And um, most of the outcome was so exciting, especially for the um, spell, the, the quarry, and um, mm -hmm. where the chairman of spell were there, also the chairman of TACO was there. So these guys were able to get a relative first-hand information on the way going forward, especially the challenges we had at the quarry. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, I'm just sitting here and all I want to do is just listen and absorb all the information, yeah. you know, because these are things that are very important to our, the growth of our economy, right? And we have been facing a lot of challenges. And so we want to enter this opportunity for this conversation. I would love to know some of the, the things that you put on the table, the questions that you ask, the questions that you pose, and the responses from the relevant um, authorities in terms of how they're going to deal with um, certain situations and how they're going to bring resolve and not only that the action plan the time span in which because sometimes we have these conversations we have these meetings and we have all these promises and then there's no timeline there's no follow-up there's no accountability so that's the kind of conversation i want to have this morning what are the things that were discussed and what are the expected outcomes and the timelines and who are going to keep these people accountable for ensuring that the, these situations are resolved Yes, so definitely. So some of the questions we asked the ministry, the minister, um, um, how, the, how will the Ministry of Trade assist small agro process on the island? You know, that was a big challenge and how, how we could assist the small agro process. Um, there were other questions about um, how the ministry can deal with um, assisting small businesses in Tobago to, to um, scale up their business, to move to, to that regional and international. And then there were uh, questions asked about funding available because there are numerous funding within the ministry. I was blown away by the amount of grants and funding that the ministry has for the Tobago business. And uh, we lacking knowledge or understanding that there are a lot. Not, not bearing on that, there, there are an office of the TTT export, export TT in Tobago, in Tobago. Center, in Tobago at the Community Development Building. I didn't have a clue about that. So it was really exciting to know all these things and the amount of funding available for the entrepreneurs in Tobago, especially the small entrepreneurs. The ministry have a lot of grants for them. And, um, and those things were explained 
and all the, the, the suppliers and, and, and consumers there, they were excited to, to know that these things are available. I and all was shocked at some of them. And just to name a few, there, there definitely um, is that um, grant to assist um, business um, in scaling up. And, um, and Export TT was there to, to tell us all about that grant. And they'll do special grant. There was this new grant that they're going to, well, I would call it a grant, the funding, in, you know, to get uh, the Forex having challenges. A lot mm -hmm. of business having challenges with Forex. Yes. Sir. Right. So the um, Exit Bank um, were, were there and indicated that ma um, manufacturing, um, light manufacturing and other type business within the hospitality area, it, you can see purchasing of raw materials. Mm -hmm. You can get Forex to purchase raw materials. Uh -huh. All right, and um, there's that small window that is going to create a forex window for small business, those who enter the retail, who buy and sell, and they they having challenges with forex. Soon that window is going to be launched. And you see, the thing about it is all this information, this wealth of information that was held secret. Yeah, there needs to be some dr some public education drive. I don't know if it's going to be done industry by industry or on a broad uh, scale. But people need to be aware because these things are of no benefit to us if we don't know they exist. And I'm happy that they came out in the conversation. So what, what I'm thinking that we need to focus on now or you know, um, the chamber should encourage some level of public education. Because, I mean, industries are suffering. Yes. Industries are they're finding it, agri talk about agro-processing, they're finding it very difficult to scale up. You know, and to be able to to to, to export in in a in a big way, Correct. you know. So we really need funding. I mean, yes, just, just yesterday I was having a conversation with somebody who is interested in starting. They don't have the capital. They don't know where to start. They don't know where to look. I mean, we have the basic stuff that we might know about, but public education in knowing that the support is there is very important. So I think that's one of the things we need to focus on moving forward from this. Well, I'm glad that you mentioned it because today at 10 o'clock, we will have the launch of the Tobago um, business um, um, advisory services the chamber have, have established this and um, this to assist startups and small business going forward in, in in offering some of the things you just mentioned so we'd be excited 10 o'clock you guys can stream on tobago update and you'll see that launch of that program that can assist all the tobago business um that having challenges those who want to scale up those who want to get into the international market the regional market we'll be able to help you and guide you going through that part so it is, it's exciting for that launch at 10 o'clock this morning. So it'd be nice to really have you guys there and you can see what we have to offer to the, to the business in Tobago. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm also happy to, to, to indicate to you that there, there are a lot of initiatives coming out of um, the Ministry of Trade. And um, in the sense that they're going to form a, a, a trade and investment agency that is putting together all the different um, export TT and, um, and, um, and all the invest TT, all these little entities that they had scattered all over, they're going to bring them together and form one agency that will be able to assist business going forward in, in the deliverance of, of, of goods and services. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to know that. Um, Spell One was the most exciting one for me to know that Tobago will begin. Definitely, we probably will get our license and we'll get our foreign exchange. So that's exciting for yes, us. Yes, very, you know, very. You know, <laughs> that was really good to, to know that the minister, I'm um, excited to come and tour the quarry. And uh, I think the chairman invited her. And um, with the blessing of the chief sec. And I, I, think, I mean, that's amazing, really amazing. So we see things happening. And we at the chamber, we, we just want to encourage. We want to encourage all the parties to come meet, talk, and get the island moving. Because without movement, yeah, we're stagnant. Not, we're yes. stagnant. Yeah. We definitely stagnant. So, I mean, exciting things are happening. Yeah. The chamber is moving and shaking and, and getting things happening, bringing people together in, the, in one space. But again, I will always go back to what are the timelines? Um, congratulations on the launch that is taking place today. So that is one actionable step we see um, happening there. So we, we, we can look forward to that. But in terms of rollout of other programs, of other initiatives, of other fundings, of other all the, the support that is there, we need to have a rollout plan and we need to know when are these things going to be happening and um, in terms 
terms of accessibility to our the, our publics in terms of our different various industries how can they access the services the people you see the funding part yes <laughs> our industry industry leaders they are looking for funding because they want to expand not only that as well um i mean funding is important but in terms of training for sustaining your businesses you know is that going to be is that part of the conversation and how is that going to be filtered into this whole rollout yeah, definitely. Um, that was part of the conversation with training um, from Export TT. Um, Export TT um, indicated that um, within the, the next couple of weeks, um, they will be ramping up some of their, their ads and, and, and words that went out to the relevant um, stakeholders. So uh, we can look out for that. <clears throat> um, they're also going to be a formation of a Bureau of Standard Office in Tobago. <clears throat> so you know when you have a product and you need to get it tested and all that good stuff, the Bureau of Standard Office will be in Tobago. And the THA is working closely with Export TT and, and, and the ministry to, to get all these initiatives out within the next couple of months. And um, so I'm looking forward to that kind of a working together, that partnership between the THA and the Ministry of Trade. We can't ask for anything better than that. And that's what we got from the minister. We got the assurance that they're going to be that working relationship with the THA and the Ministry of Trade. And that's what we are, as the business community want on the island. Well, I'm happy that you feel that way um, in terms of the conversation because that sometimes there's always a struggle. There's always a pull and tug with um, agencies like your own and governing bodies. So I'm really happy to hear that, you know, there's some measure of you feel comf confident and comfortable that these things are actually going to happen and that there's actually um, a, a start to the rule out in this as well. I want to go back a little bit to training. Training in terms of maintaining your business, but also a very key thing for the sustenance of any industry, especially in the tourism sector, is customer service. How are we going to treat with our customer service relations in terms of sustaining our businesses? Because we don't want to get all this funding. We don't want to get all this investment and that we can't manage it. Right? So is that a part of the training aspect as well? Or have you considered that part? Yeah, that, that conversation came up <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago. And, um, and we mentioned about the, the Hospitality Institute at Mount St. George. And um, there was some sort of uh, partnership that we were looking at as how that institute can assist because they have been running a couple courses before. And we're hoping that um, we could have a dialogue with the, the then, um, the now CEO. Um, Dr. Shepard was our, one of our members and we, we started that conversation. So now Dr. Shepard retired. So we have a new CEO and we're hoping to continue that conversation that we could get um, business enrolled. And this, these services were, were are near almost free and um, to get them enrolled into customer service, which could definitely help a lot of business on island, especially in the hospitality sector. Correct, yeah. correct. So what are the other key points that you want to bring out in terms of how the conversation went? Well, a um, couple of things I mentioned from the, the Exim Bank, and um, I mean, there's so much happening at Exim Bank and, and, and Export TT. Export TT, um, we're talking about foreign um, trade shows, grant funding, um, testing of products, some certificate assistance, compliance standard, I mean, Export TT is willing to assist um, small business, all those um, those sweets, and you know, all who mm -hmm. are the little tambran ball and the benny balls. Benny ball, mm -hmm. How can we take this product to the next level? Um, I mean, moving the, the benny balls and the tambran balls and all the popo balls and, and the tulum and all of that, it definitely has to be packaged properly. Mm -hmm. They can't just put it in that little plastic, plastic bag and right. tie a big bow on top of it. Market it. Yes. it has to be properly placed in a nice box label with all the nutrition facts and all that good stuff. So Export TT was willing to assist our small um, manufacturing um, companies here in Tobago to move the product from just being just that normal in the airport or on the port, but carrying it further with them. And even on the trade shows, they're willing to take them on the trade shows. So they are willing to partner with these, these suppliers to move them to that level. And, and that was so good to know um, because we have a lot of them on island. Right, but we need to develop standards. You can't have That's one day the, the, the Kumar square and next day the Kumar wrong. So you have to have it in, in a nice, proper style, well packaged, and it had to last because you're moving it from Tobago to carry it to, to Stockholm. That's right. Or to carry it to the UK. The product have to have some kind of lifespan, sus, lifespan mm -hmm. and an expiry date and all that good stuff. And the packaging have to be in a manner that um you know that it, it could sustain, sustain itself it. and looks That's good. Right. That's so right. these are some of the things that an export TT mentioned to us and it was really good and, and me getting buyers and all that whole marketing, they are willing to do that for you. So Tobago business, um, those in the manufacturing, those who are doing pepper sauce, those who are doing seasoning, those who are doing um, preserved plums, those who are doing all those, all those different type of product, export TT from the Ministry of Trade 
is here to assist you. And they're right in the community development building in Glen Road. They have an office there. Right. And um, folks will go there and they will definitely put it together, package, and really move it up that up the scale. Mr. Williams, you know, I just really want mm -hmm. to congratulate you again mm -hmm. for this initiative mm -hmm. because the information is there, yeah. but it was under a cover. That's so I'm correct. happy that the conversation <laughs> happened and the yeah. information is now there. That we know the funding is there, we know the support is there, we know that there are in there are agencies that are there to support to build our small businesses and persons who are interested in even getting into business and in, into entrepreneurship. There is support for them. So I want to thank you so much for bringing this for having this conversation and bringing it to light for us. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the launch before we go, and I want you also to um let our viewers know how they can contact the chamber to get more information on all these agencies that are here to support. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> um, um, the, <clears throat> the launch is going to be today at um, 10, 10 a.m. and at the Chamber office. Um, but um, based on the seating plan, uh, we are oversubscribed. Mm -hmm. um, we may have over 75 folks there. <clears throat> so we're asking those that uh, you can view us online and, and uh, definitely you can see more about the launch. Um, we will have a, we have a, I mean, a whole round down of the all the different questions and, and, and issues and challenges that business real this is real business and what you face today. Mm -hmm. We're talking about financing, we're talking about registration of documents, we're talking about accounting um, challenges, we have marketing and all those relevant things. Not the things in the book or the things on the poster. You're talking about the real Actual, things. Actual, real life things. Real life things that you face as a business person in Tobago and you need assistance with it. We are there to assist you moving forward. And you can contact us at the chamber at 639-2669. 639-2669. And we are there to assist you throughout. And we're not going to leave you. We'll be really there. We had an exciting team, um, um, the Business Development Committee. And, and, and the team is really exciting to assist all business on the island. You don't have to be a member of the chamber. We are there to assist all. No matter what size your business may be. It could be a two-man business. It could be a one-person business. We are there to assist you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for that information. Thank you so much for the conversation. Thank you so much for bringing all of this to light. So people here in Tobago, we know that there's help. Help is here. The chamber is here to help us. They have all the information. They've had the conversations with the stakeholders who are involved in helping small, uh, medium and large businesses here on the island. As, as Mr. Williams said, even if it's a one man business, even if you're thinking about a business idea, I mean, support is there. You can reach them at 639 to 2669. 2669. And of course, the launch is happening today at 10 a.m. Of course, oversubscribe, but you can view online. Um, of course, you would probably see the view sometime, the, the stream sometime later on today. So stay tuned to them. Give them a call. Get the information that is necessary. It is there. Help is here. So there is hope for our businesses here on the island of Tobago. All right, viewers, we are going to go to a short break before we continue conversations with our other guests in studio. And of course, before we go, we invite you to share the live, share the live, share the live. We'll be back.